Hey everyone, Susie here. Thanks for tuning in today. Hope everybody's doing well and I hope you're staying safe out there as always. And I got these the other day and I thought I want to do a review on these and try them out with you guys because I've been using this just regular little foundation sponge. I've been trying to use these kind of sponges more um, than using like my brushes or certain beauty blenders because they're a little bit cheaper and I can just kind of dispose of them more easily because I've been having some issues with like the mask knee that I had for a while which has gotten better but still I feel like my skin is like really sensitive and I must be allergic to something I have no idea what but that one was starting to get really nasty and I wanted a new one so while I was in Target the other day I was gonna pick up the same sponges, but then I saw these and these are by Sonia Kashuk and these are a duo of teardrop makeup sponges and they're latex free. Um, they are for use with concealers, highlighters, contours, foundations, powders, whatever. Um, you can use them wet or dry and they recommend washing them twice a week to help keep them um, clean and bacteria free. So these were $6 for two, which is actually not bad. That's pretty much um, the price of like the Real Techniques uh, Beauty Blender for one. So these are actually quite a bit more affordable. And let's take them out. I've used some products from Sonia Kashuk before. Sometimes they're good and sometimes they're just so-so. So, -so. Um, I'm kind of, kind of curious to see how these work. And I think I wanna actually try using them wet because I find that like I get the best um, coverage when it's wet, I feel like it looks a little bit more airbrushed. So this is what it looks like. It just kind of looks like a little teardrop shape, little pancake kind of thing. Very soft and bouncy, but also has a little bit of firmness. So I'm gonna go and get this wet and then we'll try it out. So I did wanna mention, I went ahead and got this wet. It didn't really increase in size too much. That's what it was before. I guess it did increase in size a little bit. I wouldn't say it quite doubled in size, but it did get a little bit bigger. So you're supposed to be able this end for like all over applying and this end for being able to get into those like tighter areas. So let's go ahead and try it out. And I'm probably going to use my um, Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator today just because, I don't know, I don't really need a full coverage today, but I do want to, um, you know, kind of keep it like light and airy. So I'm going to just apply all over my face first. And I must be starting to get low on this here soon. <laughs> I didn't even realize. All right, I'm gonna apply a little all over. Let's tap that in. So obviously when you apply a um, foundation or tinted moisturizer wet, you're gonna be getting more of like that airbrushed kind of look which I feel like right now I'm getting a really light coverage, lighter than usual. And I kind of want a little bit more than that. So I actually think instead of using my When Wild Tinted Hydrator, I'm gonna actually go in with some foundation because I feel like I'm not getting enough coverage with this sponge. Revlon Color Stay uh, Medium Beige Foundation. Let's try this instead. I really need a little bit more coverage. I mean, I don't want to be like cakey. Okay, that's much better. So I feel like that's applying much better. I think I would definitely stick with, if I'm going to use these kind of sponges, using them with my foundations and not the tinted hydrator. I feel like that's a little bit too like watery and not enough uh, pigment for use with this, you know, kind of sponge. But I like the way it's blending it out. It's still airbrushed, you know, but it's definitely not cakey, but covering pretty good. And it's blending out pretty well.
I do like it. Pretty happy with it so far. I feel like the size is pretty good. I feel like it's comfortable in the hand. I wish it was a little bit thinner, not quite so thick, because I feel like I don't really need it quite that thick. So a little thinner, but overall though, I really like the coverage that I'm getting. So you guys know I have quite a bit of acne scarring from the mask knee issue that I dealt with for a while that has now gotten better since we stopped having to wear those masks. We're still wearing masks, but we're wearing like the lighter, like level one mask. And that's much, much better for my skin, but still, I'm still dealing with it a little bit. I may be allergic to the water, um, which would really suck, but I've heard that is a thing. Hopefully not. So that looks pretty good. I mean, that's a good coverage for me. I don't need it to be perfect. I don't need to cover up everything. But I did want, you know, a little bit more coverage than that tinted hydrator was giving me. So while I'm at it, let's go ahead and try out and see if this works good with concealer. And I'm going to use my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. And I just want to see, you know, how does it blend out concealer? Because some work really well with foundations, but concealer-wise, they don't work too well. So I'm just doing that with under my eyes. And then I, I'm gonna put a little bit of a different shade on that's closer to my actual skin tone on like some of my acne spots where I have like some scarring and stuff. All right, <laughs> now that I look a little bit crazy, I'm gonna go ahead and take the sponge and let's try it out. So I'm gonna use the same end Let's do the face. That blended out pretty well. Obviously, I still have the texture, you know, because it is like a raised area. It's an acne scar, but I think it's blending it out pretty well. And at least it kind of color corrected those spots. Yeah, that looks good. Let's try the, the actual concealer. It's a little big for doing like little tiny spots, but it did the job. Let's try the under eye area. It's a little thick for using on the inside corner of the eye here, but I got it. So that's what we're left with. I think it looks pretty good and I'm pretty satisfied with it and I think it did a great job of blending everything out so I'm gonna give these a four out of five I really like them I think that size wise if they were just a little thinner they would be easier to work with but I do appreciate the large size um, it does make it easier to blend things out quicker um, however just like I was saying when I'm trying to get in these little inner corners it is a little bit tougher with this really large sponge but I love the way it blended out I think it did a really good job and it just blended everything out really well for me so two for six dollars I don't think that's bad at all I got these at Target these say number 854 if you're looking for the exact ones and I think they're a good deal and I'm pretty happy that I bought them and I'm going to definitely give them a wash and reuse them for a little while. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you found it helpful. If you are interested in these, definitely pick them up from your local Target and give them a try. I think you'll be pretty happy with them. 
And thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned to my channel for future videos coming to you every Tuesday and Sunday on my channel. Have a good day, guys. Bye.